hello everyone in this video we are going to look at amazon personalize which is a machine learning service which is uh, used for creating recommendation systems without writing any code so uh, as you can see i have created some dummy recommendation systems so for this video we are going to create everything from scratch now so when you go to your amazon personalize service create a uh, click on create data set group and you can enter the name of your dataset group so I will put recommend movies I'll click on next it says recommend movies for successfully created now when you go back to your Amazon personalize you have one uh, data, data set group alright so when the status changes to active you can actually do uh, do uh, other things on this particular data set group so uh, we, we, we will be importing some data and we will be creating some models data set group is active you can see it here we will now be importing the uh, data sets all right so I have taken a data set which has uh, the ratings the movies and the users all right so i've opened them these are the csv files and now we will be importing them the first one is the user item interaction data so click on import it says data set name so i'll set user interaction Right. and it says use existing schema or create a new schema now here you need to enter uh, what you have in your CSV file the column headers all right so uh, so this is what I already had so in my ratings user so the ratings or CSV file is actually the user interaction data set all right so I have user ID item ID rating and timestamp right so that is what I need to uh, need to be need to show on my schema so if I create a new schema so by default you have user ID item ID and time timestamp all right so in the existing schema I, I, I added a new column which is the rating all right so uh, if you don't uh, have this you have something else then make sure you add that and then 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 only you can import the data set all right so what I'll do is I'll use the existing schema is the movie ratings well, let's do one thing we'll create a new schema copy this create new schema enter the name which will be the user interaction like this and then you can click on next so it says user item interaction data set was successfully created import job name give an IAM service role which I already have and the location of your data so you have to give here your S3 bucket location all right so what we'll do is we'll go to our S3 service and we're going to create a new bucket now click on create bucket and say go next keep default uh, uncheck block all public access click on next and say create bucket all right so I have this bucket which is empty now what I'll do is now as you can see I have the user ID item ID rating and timestamp in my CSV file so what I'll do now is I will upload this particular CSV file on this bucket so I'll drag this and upload so I have this CSV file here now but uh, this S3 bucket does not have access to the Amazon personalize alright so what we need to do is we have to go to the permissions tab and then to bucket policy and we have to add a policy to here a policy here all right so for that 
I'll copy this part. This is in JSON format. I'll paste it here. And then I have to give the name of the bucket. So the name of the bucket is You can save. So now your Amazon personalize also has access to this particular bucket. All right. Go back to Amazon personalize and you have to uh, give the link to the ratings.csv file. All right. So now you click on ratings.csv. It says copy path. Click on this. Go back to your personalize. Paste that link here and you can click on start import so it will say create pending and it will be in progress right now so the same thing that you need to you have to do it for you have to do for user data and item data all right so click on import and give some name and user data i uh, have a schema which is user id movie id and timestamp all right so i have uh, i have to make sure that this is what i have in the uh, schema definition all right so what i'll do is click on new schema and you can paste it here or i have the previous one so uh, I, I already have an existing schema which says user id movie id and timestamp all right so i'll use this And I'll click on next. Name will be user data. And again, I need to give the S3 location. So I'll upload my uh, data, you CSV file to that to that S3 bucket. Along with that, I also add the items, the next data set that we are going to import. okay so go on users click on copy path go back to personalize and paste it here click on start import do the same for item data as well and the definition schema will be item id title and genre all right so I think I have that particular schema as well. Yeah, so I'll use this. Copy the path. So I have all the data sets in the uh, progress mode. So when I click on this, so it's still uh, processing. So these are my data set, all right. So on the left, as you can see, you, we have some options, which is the event tracker, solution and recipes, filters, campaigns, and batch inference. So uh, the data set that we have imported will take some time. Uh, so what I'll do is, I already have another data set group, which where I've imported everything and they are active, all right. So as you can see, I have these particular data set that I had imported earlier, the same data sets, right? So as you can see, I have something called as solutions here. Now solutions is what uh, you're going to do for to train your model on the data set that you have imported. And recipes, recipes is the algorithm that you're going to choose. So for recommendation system, there are different algorithms that you can choose. And uh, with, that, with that model, you're going to train the data set that you have uploaded so solution is the trading and recipe is the uh, algorithm choosing 
all right so i have created four solutions so how can you create a solution is simply click click on create solution give it a name and then you choose your algorithm the algorithm which is the recipe so as you can see there are multiple options the aws personalized ranking popularity count and you have others also so as per your application you can choose your algorithm so click on one of them and you have the advanced configuration of perform hpo the hyperparameter optimization all right there are other options as well click on next so it has created your solution so this is the solution that we created so it will take this will also take time for the status to change to active so i already have i have created four different solutions with four different models four different uh, algorithms and we'll see the results all right so the next thing that we have is filters so filters are something if you want to re remove certain items from your recommendation based on rules that you define you can you can use a filter so uh, in this video we are not going to look at filters all right the next thing that we have is campaign so once you have uh, imported your data set you have chosen your algorithm and then you have created a solution as well solution is a training now a campaign is what you do is, is what is going to deploy your solution all right so for the four models that we have trained and created uh, the models we have created four different campaigns right so to create a campaign what you do is click on create campaign give it a name and you can choose a solution so right now we created a solution test solution right and this is the minimum provision transaction per second let's keep it one so it says selected solution must be an active solution version so as i said it takes some time around 10 to 15 minutes minutes based on your data uh, to uh, change the status to active all right so you can uh, so i already have four different solutions and i can choose one of them and create a solution all right So as you can see, uh, it has accepted one version, which is the active version for this particular solution. Okay, it says more than five resources in active state. Please delete some and try again. All right. So we will be looking at the four campaigns that I've already that I already created before. All right. So if I go on campaign two. it's telling me so uh, this is where you're going to get the recommendations all right so i've used let's look at the details here you here you'll find everything the solution version id and everything else so i need to give a user id so let's go to our users so i'll say 18 and now i have uh, the item IDs so this particular algorithm is the personalized uh, ranking algorithm that I've chosen all right so I have to give a list of item IDs as well so let's go to our data set get some of the IDs All right, I'm picking one more. Okay, for the user ID 18, I have given some item IDs. All right, so I'll just click on get personalized item rankings. When I click on this, it's giving give, it's giving me a ranking. All right, with some score. So it says for a one two two one ID with a uh, score of 67%. Right, so this is the personalized ranking algorithm that, algorithm that I've chosen. All right, so let's go back to our campaigns and look at something else as well. Let's go to campaign three. And you can give the user ID, let's say 62. And add uh, the context as well. And click on get recommendations. 
So you get a list of item IDs with some score. All right. So this is how you can create different solutions with different algorithms, which are the recipes. And then you can create your own campaigns uh, to deploy your solution versions. And this is how you use Amazon Personalize. All right. So there are different other things also. You have something called as batch inference jobs. So you can create a batch. You have also you also have an event tracker. So I have not covered that part in this video, but you can do so. Uh, you can look at the documentation. The documentation is quite great. It's easy to understand. All right. So if you like our content, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.